Did you know that the Ramanatha Swami Temple, a holy Hindu site, holds the record for the longest corridor among all Hindu temples in India? Nestled in the small town of Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu, this temple is not just a place of worship, but a spiritual beacon for Hindus. It's part of the sacred Char Dhams, the four abodes every Hindu aims to visit, and it's also among the 227 Padal Petra Stalams, where revered Nayanas express their devotion through music. Now that we've captured your interest, let's dive into the intriguing history of this magnificent structure. The story of the Ramanatha Swami Temple begins with a tale of remorse and redemption. It is believed that Lord Rama, after his epic battle with Ravana, sought to absolve himself of the sin of killing a Brahmin. To this end, he decided to worship Lord Shiva, the destroyer of evil, at this very location. But there were no temples on the island, so he sent Lord Hanuman, his ardent devotee, to fetch the Shivlinga from the sacred Mount Kailash. While Hanuman was away, Goddess Sita, Rama's consort, crafted a Shivlinga out of sand. This humble creation, born out of necessity, was later worshipped by Lord Rama, who was himself a devotee of the Shiva Linga. The Linga that Hanuman brought back from Mount Kailash, known as the Vishwalingam, is the first to be honoured during worship. The construction of the temple we see today, however, began centuries later. In the 15th century, King Udayan Setupati and the Vaishya residents of Nagur laid the foundation for the sacred structure. The temple was expanded in the 16th century by Tirumalaya Setupati, who divided the southern part of the temple. Statues of Tirumalaya and his son can still be seen at the temple's entrance today. The current design of the Ramanatha Swami Temple is credited to King Kijavan Setupati, who ordered its construction in the 17th century. The contributions of the Jaffna Raja of the Setupati Kingdom were instrumental in shaping the temple's grandeur. The temple was built using limestone and granite in the Dravidian architectural style, which is characterized by its high walls and intricately carved columns. From its legendary beginnings to its construction by devout kings, the Ramanatha Swami Temple has a history that is as rich and layered as the culture it represents. Each stone, each corridor, each carving in this revered temple holds a story, a testament to the devotion of countless generations and the enduring power of faith. The Ramanatha Swami Temple isn't just a place of worship, it's a marvel of Dravidian architecture. The temple was meticulously crafted using limestone and granite exhibiting the finesse of the artisans of the time. A high wall, referred to as Mail, encloses the temple, stretching 85 feet from east to west and spanning an impressive 675 feet from north to south. The temple's interior is a labyrinth of corridors, each with its own unique design. One corridor sits on a five-foot high platform, integral to the temple's intricate design. Another corridor showcases a combination of beams and sandstone columns, all under a roof that is a masterpiece in itself. Yet the crown jewel of this architectural wonder is arguably the third corridor. It is the longest in the world and leads us to the Sethumadav Temple, located to the west. This corridor stretches for about 197 meters, an awe-inspiring sight indeed. The temple's exterior is equally impressive, with an entrance adorned by 1,212 columns. The Rajagopuram, a 53-meter-tall main tower, stands as a beacon of faith and devotion. The main temple hall consists of the Anupu Mandapam, Sukaravara Mandapam, Setupati Mandapam, Kalyana Mandapam, and Nandi Mandapam, each with its own significance. With its impressive architecture and grandeur, the Ramanatha Swami Temple stands as a testament to the skill and devotion of its creators. But the wonders of the Ramanatha Swami Temple do not end with its architecture. Within the complex, there are 22 holy water bodies, each holding its own tail. However, the most captivating are the 24 wells. Unlike the salty water outside the temple, the water from these wells is sweet. This isn't a mere geographical coincidence, but a legend woven into the fabric of the temple's history. It is believed these wells were crafted by none other than Lord Rama himself. He is said to have shot arrows into the ground, requesting water from various pilgrimage sites. Upon his command, the water gushed forth, filling these wells. Thus, each well is more than just a source of water. It's a pilgrimage site in itself. The Ramanatha Swami Temple, 
with its rich history, magnificent architecture and mystical wells, continues to be a beacon of faith and a testament to the grandeur of ancient Indian civilization.